So the first thing I would advise you to do when you're sending your first email newsletters with Bravo is to activate Google Analytics tracking. So to do that, you're gonna go to campaigns, you're gonna go to settings, and then over here we have the Google Analytics uh, settings. So we're gonna click on configure, and you have to just enable this setting. So it's really simple, enable this box over here, and then enable this one over here as well. So if you enable this setting, whenever you send a new email newsletter with Bravo, you don't have to keep enabling this setting with every individual newsletter you're sending. If you enable this one, it'll be enabled by default in the future future. So then you're going to click on save, obviously. So the second thing I advise you to create is an update preference form for your list. Over here, you can see an example. This basically allows your subscribers to update their preferences. So if we see this example newsletter over here, and if we scroll down to the footer, there is obviously a link to unsubscribe from your list. But let's say you have multiple newsletters. So let's say you send a monthly update about your software product to customers and potential customers, but you also have a separate newsletter for let's say blog posts or YouTube videos. So with a preference reference form, you, your subscribers can choose to unsubscribe from just one newsletter instead of just unsubscribing from all your newsletters. So let's say if you only have one unsubscribe link, if a subscriber clicks that link, they will be unsubscribed from all your lists. So if you have that preference form, something like this, your subscriber can update their preferences in terms of what kind of newsletters they want to receive from you. So to create a preference form, you're gonna go to context, then you're gonna go to forms, and then you'll see the update profile over here. And then you're gonna click this button over here, create an update profile form. Then you're gonna walk through these steps and you're gonna create the form and I'll show you in a bit how to add that form to your newsletter. But we're not quite done with the uh, initial steps that you have to walk through before you send that first newsletter. So the next thing is you're gonna create a test list. So if you already have a main list for all your subscribers, you want to create a new test list. So create a new list and add just one contact to that list where you can send a test email to. It's always a good practice to send that email first to a test list to make sure uh, everything is correct. So the links are correct, uh, etc. Maybe you can add some colleagues to that list. So you want to make sure you double check the email if it's a really important email. So create a test list. So the next thing, so if you go to campaigns and then click on settings, and then we're gonna click on default settings. Over here, we can change our default campaigns settings. So whenever you're sending a new email campaign, you have these sender options. So if you click on manage sender, here you'll see the email address and the name, which is what people will see when you send them that email. So you can choose to change this name to, so for example, your brand name or your personal name. You can also change the default sender email address, as you can see. We can also change the default reply to email address. So I'm going to change that to my new email address, info at creatorrack.com, and I'm gonna click on save. Okay, finally, let's send in a campaign. So we're gonna go to campaigns. So one cool feature Bravo offers is the folder feature. So it's a pretty simple feature, but it's a useful feature where you can basically uh, organize all your newsletters. So for example, you can create a Black Friday folder where you can store or basically um, add the Black Friday newsletters you sent last year, for example. So if you want to see what content or what discounts you've used last year, how those emails performed, you can quickly find them if you're using folders to, to organize all your newsletters. So let's create our first campaign. And if you just want to send one newsletter, you're gonna click on email, so then you'll see you have two options. You can send a regular email or an A, B test email where you can test subject lines or the email content. So let's say you wanna test the subject lines. Let me quickly show you how that works. I'm gonna click on create A, B campaign. So here you can add those subject lines to subject line A and subject line B. I'm gonna click on save. And then over here we have the split rules. And here you can choose how do you want the winning email to be chosen. So you can choose the version with the highest open rate or the version with the highest click rate. And how long should we run the test? So multiple days, multiple hours. So that is basically the A, B testing feature. So I'm gonna go back. And so in this case, I'm just gonna create a regular campaign. So I'm gonna go back to email, regular, and I'm gonna just call it test. So by the way, this is only for internal use, this campaign name. So your subscribers will not see this name. I'm gonna create campaign. 
So here we have multiple options, so recipients, subject line, the design of the email, and then we have the additional settings. So let's click on edit those settings. So the first thing you'll see is that the Google Analytics tracking is enabled by default. And that is because that first thing we did, right? We enabled that setting by default. Keep in mind that the campaign name you gave in the beginning, so test, that is what the UTM campaign value will be. So maybe a good practice is to make sure you give that campaign name a recognizable name. So you can find it in your Google Analytics. So then over here, we have the use the update profile form. So remember the form we just created with the preferences. Here you can enable that form. You can select what preferences form you want to use. So let's say you want to use this one. You're going to select it and then it will be added to your newsletter. So I'm going to click on save. So the next thing you're obviously going to do is you're going to start designing your newsletter. So I'm going to click on that button. So when building a newsletter inside Bravo, you basically have four options. You can start from scratch. So you can use this option over here with a blank template. Basically, you can also choose one of the basic layouts over here, or you can use one of their 54 pre-designed email templates. They look pretty good. So you can see what's possible in terms of design. And you can also code your own email. So you can use the rich text editor or the HTML editor. And over here, you can see the past newsletters you sent. And by the way, I'm not sure if you noticed, but if you're on the layouts tab over here, you can see there's the same logo in all of these emails. And that's because I've used the brand library feature. So let's say I'm going to click on this template. I'm going to use this template. So you can go to style and over here you have to feature the brand library. So I'm going to click on edit in brand library. And here you can basically add your website and it'll basically import the logo, the colors and the fonts. So if it's not correct, you can edit it over here as well. Bravo has a lot of flexibility in terms of fonts. As you can see, you can upload custom fonts and there is also a fallback option. So not every email client like a Gmail or an Outlook offers all fonts. So if that email client doesn't offer that font, you can use a fallback option for your newsletters. And also one other great tip, if you're not a big fan of the design you've just chosen, you can go back. So let's say I'm going to click on back to campaign. And then over here, you see these three dots. If you click on it, you can click on reset design. I'm going to click on that now. So there is this warning over here. You will lose all your current content and modifications. So yes, confirm. And now you can choose a different design again. So then whenever you're ready with your design, with your email, with the recipients you chose. And again, here you can send that email first to your test list, right? What we created beforehand. So you're going to click on schedule and then you have multiple options. So you can send the email now, obviously you can schedule it for later or you can use the send at best time and it'll calculate what the best time is for sending your newsletter. So what I shared in this video is just one of the many topics I cover in my Bravo course called Bravo University. And I basically want to show you everything Bravo can do like using the form builder. I want to show you Bravo segmentation builder, the CRM features Bravo offers. So basically all of Bravo's features you see on the left hand side on the dashboard. 